Hi everyone, welcome again to our channel, drivinglessonscork.ie. Today we're going to focus on doing a little video on gear changing in a five-speed manual transmission car. Uh, we're not going to go into re picking out reverse gear at all. We're just going to focus on the five forward gears because in different mod makes and models of cars, reverse gear come in different positions. So we're just going to go with uh, a five-speed forward gearbox. Now, uh, you wouldn't really wouldn't use six gear anyway uh, in an urban setting. Uh, you'd only use six gear in a motorway or dual carriageway setting if you get a long straight uh, run of, 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 of traffic on, on maybe a long journey. Most learners in there wouldn't be using six gear for a while. And when you're able to use six gear, you're well advanced with your driving, I would say. Um, most learner drivers would be just focusing on the lower gears initially. So that's why we're going to focus on a five speed manual transmission gearbox this evening. And we're not going to go into reverse gear or six gear. So let's get to it. Now we're going to try and do this on MS Paint. So this is your standard layout here of a five speed manual transmission gearbox. You would see this diagram possibly on the top of your gear stick in your manual transmission car. Now, a couple of small things before we go. Uh, when your car is in neutral, it could be anywhere between, so no, that's wrong. I need to go for this here. Okay. So when your car is in neutral, it could be anywhere between uh, this position and this position. Okay. So anywhere between the two red arrows, I would uh, call the neutral line. Okay, so when your gear stick is in neutral, your gear stick is anywhere along that line between the two red arrows. Now, if you leave your gear stick free in neutral, it will always sit in between gears three and gear four. So this here would be where your uh, Where your 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 uh, your gear stick would be sitting, if your gear stick is sitting in neutral, that's where your gear stick is actually sitting. Okay, so we'll just draw out a little uh, arrow now for that if we can. That isn't going to work, so we'll just use the arrows here. So. So, oh, I'm have to do it now. Okay. There we go. So again, your neutral line is anywhere between here on the black line and here. When your gear stick is in neutral, in the manual transmission car. It's always sitting between gears three and gear four, right? Now, therefore, to go if you're starting the car and your gear stick is in neutral, which ideally it would be, um, but it doesn't have to be as long as you have the clutch in when you start the car if you're in gear. But assuming your gear stick is in is neutral when you start the car, your gear stick is sitting between gears three and gear four. To go to gear one which you always would for taking off because it's more power, most powerful gear, you'd have to push over to the left and up then to gear one, okay? Now, I'd always say to people, try not to grab the gear stick with the, your fingers, but try and push the gear stick over and up into gear one with the palm of your hand. Now, if you're going to gear one or two, 
you always want to push the gear stick to the left okay from its position from its neutral rest point push the gear stick to the left because there's always a little spring here so there's a little spring here and the spring would be so I know just adjust this spring would be like this here then maybe to here so that's this common enough symbol for a spring and that spring you would have to work against when you're putting the gear stick to gear one or two because the spring would be pulling the gear stick back from between one and two back to gear three okay that gear stick operates this way that 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 um that spring operates in this in 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 uh, this general direction okay so you always push left for gears one and two from your neutral position you push against the spring which is pushing the gear stick back to neutral so to go to gears one or two you push against the spring to the left okay and you go up then into one now to go to gear two then you keep the pressure to the left against the spring keep pushing to the left against the spring and bring the gear stick down straight down to gear two okay so you're in gear two now and you want to go to gear three you just bring the gear stick up to between gears one and two and the gear stick because of the spring will automatically pop over to between gears three and four and then you can push the gear stick up to gear three okay very simple you're in gear two you just pop the gear stick up to up to between one and two and it'll fall over then to between three and four itself without any pressure because if you push too hard you'll go over here so you just want to pop it from between one and two let it pop over to between two gears three and four and then put a little bit of upward pressure and get the gears to get to go into gear three then when you speed it up a bit more you want to go to gear four you bring the gear stick down from gear three straight down through neutral straight down all the way to gear four to go up from gear four then to gear five you bring the gear stick up to neutral now likewise with this spring here pushing the gear stick back to neutral on this side there's also a spring on the other side and again the spring is like this uh, and the spring pushes the gear stick back to between three and four back to neutral so again you have to work against the spring when you're going to gear five because the spring is pushing the gear stick this way okay so when you're going from gear four to gear five you push the gear stick up to neutral let it sit neutral for a split second and then push to the right with the palm of your hand and on the left hand side of the gear stick push to the right over here and then push the gear stick up to five okay that's how you change the gears in a manual transmission car when you're changing up the gears now again you've got to get your speed right to be able to go up a gear it's no point going up a gear just for the sake of it your speed has to match the gear you're going to choose likewise when you're going down the gears your speed has to match too when you go down the gears so when you go down the gears you have to get your speed to match the chosen lower gear and always when you've the gear changed on after you come off the clutch to change any gear you come off the clutch slowly don't jump off the clutch too quick so get your speed right change your gear and always come off the clutch slowly there are other notes you need to take into account when you're changing gears in a manual transmission car 
Now, uh, so you're driving along in fifth gear, let's say, and you want to go back to gear four, so you slow down a little bit. Bring the gear stick from gear five here back down to this position, and the gear stick, because the spring, will automatically go back to neutral, and then you just push it down to four. Do not push too hard to the left when you go from gear five to gear four. Just bring it down to here to this position, let it fall over itself to this position, and, and then push it down to gear four. Then to go down to gear three, you slow down a bit more, push the gear stick straight back up, up through neutral all the way up to gear three, and then slowly come off the clutch again. Um, then you go to gear two, you slow down a bit more. Now to go to gear two, you have to come down to neutral, push the gear stick over to the left, and then bring the gear stick down to gear two. At the correct speed for gear two, and come off the clutch nice and slow. Okay? Uh, and then, ideally now, you might stop in gear two. And after stopping in gear two then, should you have time to get to gear two, that is, to stop, um, uh, you then go back to gear one when you're stopped to take off again. Okay? That's it. Because gear one gives you the most power. So, folks, that's... A rough guideline on how to change gears in a manual transmission car. I hope you find that video a little bit useful. If you have any comments or queries, please do post them underneath this video in the comment section. And I will do my best to, uh, to reply to you as best I can. It's just a basic guideline as to how to change gears in a manual transmission car. And again... Your speed must be correct for the gear you're going to, and you must come off the clutch slowly after each gear change. They're the two important things that you must get right when you're changing a manual, uh, changing gears in a manual transmission car. Okay, thanks for folks for watching the video, and if you like the video again, please do click in the like button. And you can subscribe to our channel too. Click the bell icon as well then for further notifications or further uh, videos on the topic of driving. So thanks folks for watching. And until next time, bye for now.